guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing the Scorpion. This is a really fun little below the bar move. Plus I'm gonna show you transitions into and out of it to make it a really nice little combination that is also great for beginners. But first I'll just take a minute to say please subscribe to my channel. It makes a big, big, big difference with the YouTube algorithm. And while you're over there, please check out my other videos. I've got lots and lots of tutorials. So make sure you do take a minute to like and subscribe. Okay, moving on, here are your pro tips. My first pro tip is that when you are starting this move from a front balance, make sure that the bottom bar of the hoop is really on your hip crease. That's right where your leg ends and your hip begins and it's a very important placement for any time you're doing a front balance. My second pro tip you have definitely heard before, but it's a goodie, it is to point your feet. This is the kind of move where you can easily forget about pointing your feet because you're thinking so hard about your upper body, your arms, your body placement. But if you forget to point those feet, it is going to ruin the line of your leg. So remember to point your feet. It's super important, even when there's a lot of other things going on. And my third pro tip is to arch your back and look up as much as possible in the final position. It just makes you look longer and more poised and makes that position look beautiful and polished. So arch your back, look back with your head and enjoy the beautiful finished product that you're creating. Okay, those were your pro tips, so now let's break it down. We're gonna start this move from a front balance, so you are going to need to flip yourself over on the hoop. I am doing this with the cat. I've got a whole tutorial about the cat already on my channel, which is linked at the top of your screen right now and also in the description of this video. But just super basically, you're going to grab the side of the hoop with both hands, bend one leg, keep the other leg straight, and then roll yourself over towards your bent leg. Your straight leg should stay in contact with the hoop as you flip over and end up on your hip crease. Finally, when you have completely flipped upside down, you're going to take that straight leg down towards the ground. You're making kind of a V shape with your body and you should feel very comfortable and secure hanging forward on your hips. Next up, you're going to take your hands off the hoop, do some beautiful shapes, then reach back up, take the hoop on either side of your hips. You might need to reposition your hips a little bit to have them directly in the center of the hoop. Your palms should be facing away from you and you can bring one leg up straight. You should just hit the top of the hoop with your toes or your ankle, depending on how long your leg is and the size of the hoop, it could be either one of those. You're using that straight leg on the top to hold yourself vertically while you bring out your other leg behind you with a nice bent knee or a straight leg, whichever one you prefer, they're both beautiful. This is the part where I'm really arching my back. Not only is it going to make me look prettier, it's also going to help me hold the position. I'm pulling nice and strongly with my arms and using that top foot to brace myself so I don't go too far backwards. When I'm ready, I pull up slightly with my arms. I bring my free back leg back through the center of the hoop and angle it down, once again, creating that V shape with my body and come back into my forward hip hang. Now it's time to flip yourself back over to sit back up in the hoop, which I'm going to do by placing both hands on the side of the hoop, pulling with my arms, and taking the leg that's on the side of my hands, I have put my hands on my left side, so I'm using my left leg, to do a little half circle motion and flip myself over. That leg's momentum is really gonna help you, so make sure you are using your legs to help flip yourself over. Finally, I walk my hands up the side of the hoop, I leave my head as the last thing to come up, and I'm sitting back up in the hoop and I'm done. Here's the whole thing in real time to just show you how it works. This is a really fun little combo. It's also a great way to get upside down and below the hoop if you are just getting used to both of those things. And one more time, I'll just remind you to please subscribe to my channel. It makes a big difference. It really, really is a big help to me. And if you wanna find other moves for any level, I've got lots and lots and lots and lots of videos over there. So go over, have a look, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.